One of the most powerful additions to Nuke 5.2 are the Python callbacks. The Python callbacks will enable you to attach random Python code to all sorts of events inside of Nuke, such as creating a node, opening a panel, rendering a frame, saving your script and so forth. That means you can write your own Python code to, for example, automatically check in a Python script into your database if it's saved in the correct folder, or simply play a sound once the render is done. You can access the Python callbacks in various places in the interface. Let's have a look at the project settings first. Up here you can see a new Python tab, and if you switch over to that you can see three callbacks available to us in the project settings. The first one will be triggered when the script is loaded, the second when the script is saved, and the third one when the script is closed. As a first test, let's simply print something when we save the script. So I'll just type print testing callbacks, like so. And now if I go file save, you can now see that the saving action has triggered that Python code. In order to use something a little bit more useful, let me just load that little Python script here, which takes a name, which is assumed to be a script path, and um, checks it for underscore followed by either a lowercase or uppercase v followed by at least one digit. So it's basically trying to find a version within that file name. And if it doesn't find the version, then it'll throw an exception which will block the saving process. So people are forced to use versioning in their file names. Usually this script would be executed through your menu py or somewhere from inside your nuke path. I'm just going to run this manually here. And now we can use the function name check script name followed by the file name which is nuke.root.name. So this is the name that is requested by the file save action. So once that's in the onscript save callback, I can now try to save this again, but this time around I'm getting an error because test nk doesn't contain a version number. So let's try to save it with a version. Test underscore v01, like so. And this time around it works and everything is good. Now let's have a look at some other callbacks available in the Nuke interface. First of all, the write node has its own Python tab as well that can trigger events before render starts, before each frame starts, after each frame starts, and after the entire render is done. You can find the same exact callbacks in pretty much all nodes that have a script button that executes a range of frames, such as the uh, disk cache node. You'll find a Python tab in here with the same stuff. The curve editor can analyze a whole lot of frames, so therefore it's got the same callbacks. There is the min color node and so forth, same thing. So they all work the same. Let's focus on the right node for now. One common thing I want to do is I want to check if the output directory exists when I kick off a render. And if it doesn't, I want to have the quick option to create one. So I've written a little script that lives in my nuke path and it lives in the Ohu IO module and it's called create outdoor. So it just takes a file name and checks if its parent directory exists and otherwise, if it doesn't exist, it will create all the necessary directories for it. So since that is already available to us since it's living in my nuke path and has been imported through my menu py, I can simply go ohu io dot create out there and feed it the file that we want to check which is nuke.this node because we're inside the right node that we want to check and we want to have a look at the file knob and in particular its value like so. So if I now have this in here and I'm trying to run this, I'll just select the right node and hit F7 to render the selected node. And now through that callback I can see that I need to create the directory but I just need to hit yes and the render goes off and creates the directory it needs. And now obviously if I go in there and render the whole thing again, I'm not going to see the message again because the directory now exists. So this goes very nicely with a versioning feature that is built into Nuke anyway, which will version up everything in the file path that it finds 
with the V followed by a number. So if I now go, I want to render version 2, I can just select my right node, go to edit node, file name, version up, or press Alt and up arrow, and you see how both the directory name and the file name version up to v2 and obviously that directory doesn't exist but it doesn't matter because now our callback lets us create that directory on the fly. Next let's have a look at how to analyze each frame's name as it's being written to disk. So we'll go and use the after each frame callback and simply print each frame's name to the uh, terminal as it's being written to disk. So I'll go print nuke.filename which is a command that will tell you which file name is currently being used by, by a given node. And the node we're interested in is again nuke.this node. Let's just try that. Run that again and you see this prints the literal string in the file knob. We really want to replace the hashes with uh, the current frame number. So we can do this by using the nuke.replace flag in the file name command like so. And now if we uh, render the whole thing again, we can now see the actual frames being printed into the script editor. And lastly, I want to hear a sound when the render is done. And because I'm on OS X, it's pretty easy to just use the say command, system command, which invokes the text to speech feature. So I'll just go OS system Make sure you have the OS module imported in your menu py and then I'm going to invoke the system command called say and let it say something. Let's see if that works. Get back to your desk!